Hello, welcome back. I'm Mr. Charlie, and this is SAT2 Physics Review. Lesson 5, Work and Energy. Last time, we talked about the concepts of momentum and impulse, and how momentum is a better quantity to think about when we're sometimes when we're analyzing velocity and motion, because it better conveys the, um, the uh, force that an object would give off in an impact, right? Like I said, I kept talking about how I'd rather be hit in the head with a grape than a watermelon, because you know, the watermelon has more mass. So it's, it's the mass and the velocity together that you should think about when analyzing you know, how much oomph or how much force an object has behind it when it's moving. Now the quantity behind all this kind of intuition and momentum is energy, right? All moving objects have something called kinetic energy. Kinetic meaning moving from the same uh, Greek word root as kinematics. Again, kin meaning motion. Um, so kinetic energy is just one type of a more fundamental concept of general energy. Uh, there are different types of energy. There's gravitational energy, like when I raise up my clicker in the gravitational field, it has a certain what we call potential energy. And if I drop it, then that energy will be converted into the motion of kinetic energy. Same thing if you pull back like a rock in a slingshot, right, with a rubber band or a spring. Uh, there's energy stored in that spring, and you know that because when you release whatever you've pulled back, uh, it goes flying off with some kinetic energy, with some velocity. So, we kind of have already have this intuitive idea for what energy is, just based on you know day-to-day -day, um, life. You know, we say when we're tired, we're out of energy. Um, it means we can't do anything. You know, we know that we're in the middle of some kind of energy crisis where you know we're burn burning too much petroleum and fossil fuels to get energy. You know, and we to power our computers and our lights and our cars. And so, you know, if our computer runs out of energy, it stops working. If your car runs out of gas, it can't go anywhere. So we get this sense that we need energy to do something. And you can see how much energy we do need and how, how important it is to everywhere in the world um, to have energy, you know, to keep civilization going. So um, let's talk about what exactly energy is. Just like with velocity and displacement, um, physics has specific definitions for everyday terms. So first of all, we're going to talk about work. We're going to, in a minute, get to saying that energy is defined as the ability to do work. So we all know what work is, right? We do work when we go to work, when we do chores, um, when construction workers build things, our car does work when it drives. So we have the sense that doing work generally involves doing things, or, um, you know, motion and, and, and forces. So the way we're going to define work in physics is applying a force to displace some object over a distance. And the equation I'm going to write as F sub PS, where P denotes the force parallel to the displacement. That's important. So I'm also going to write it a lot like this. Work equals F parallel S, where this little two rail those railroad track signs there means parallel. That's as opposed to force perpendicular, where you use two perpendicular lines. And we'll also use that later on in this course. But so in this case, uh, F sub P means the force parallel to the motion. And so the unit of work, you can already tell, is going to be F is Newtons uh, times S is displacement measured in meters. So the Newton meter is the unit of work. That's going to equal, if you remember, a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So multiplying that by a meter, we get a kilogram meter squared per second squared. If you studied physics before, you probably recognize this as the joule. J O U L E, joule, abbreviated just big J. And that will be important when we talk about energy in a minute. So keep in mind the units. And let's do an example to see how to calculate 